see what the Mary Sue has to say about this GTA 6 Lady Wham in Hispanic Latinx news. I am Mecca and I don't care what the people's pronouns or gender or this or that or any of that is. I just want a video game where I can thwack people with a dubstep gun. Can we please get that? Who are you? Why are you here? Uh, I'm Rob Robo Shlomo and I've played Grand Theft Auto 5 and online and other stuff. And we're talking about six now. See, my Grand Theft Auto was one and two in London and three in Vice City. And then I moved over to Saints Row because they were a little more fun. They're a little more weird, a little more crazy. We played the crap out of Saints Row 3 and 4. Yeah, we did. Oh, those are so fun. I want to play the new one just because I don't think it's going to be bad. I don't think it's going to be this wokier than thou political message, ideology, gender Best. thing, BS stuff. Because I'm just so tired of hearing about people's genders. <laughs> and their identities and what they identify as and how oppressed they are and in the great continuation of of you know stealing cars and beating hookers until they disappear we're learning about somebody's gender <laughs> but no but no will they get the female protagonist right according to the mary Sue, what uh, odds on Madeline Carpaccio having a having a dingly dangly instead of a vahuha? Uh, I'd say I'd say pretty good. <laughs> if, you're, if I were a betting man, which I'm not, I'm the gambler. <laughs> I'd, I'd lay even money. I win. I play baccarat. I bet on the banker. Excuse me while I put on my clown makeup. Oh no, are you clown pronouns too it's now? Is it clown, clown self? Her clown self. It's a clown self. Oh no. Clown pronoun here. I mentioned not having people use clown or clown self pronouns for clown. <laughs> Recently, Bloomberg shared some exciting news for GTA fans. We're getting a new game in 2024. They share that Rockstar is going to clean up their image. No, well, ew, don't. Well, well, well okay, well, the Rockstar is, no, is noted for people working long hours. Okay, and the no crunch overtime. they need to get rid of. Get rid of the crunch and the yeah. no overtime. Get rid of the uh, treat, treating his okay. boys crappy. I heard so, it's kind of a boys club behind the scenes, so uh, it gets a little irritating sometimes so dealing with it, guys, but then sometimes it's like... Guys, it's mostly guys going to this, this line of work. I can't help it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, there's this huge there's this huge thing where you got people like Anita Sarkeesian deciding that they get to speak for all women about what they want, and I don't know. I like, I like playing characters in like Saints Row with bazoombas out to here and you know pretty much wearing thongs or nothing uh -huh. if we can get away as little as possible or something as ridiculous as possible like a clown self get up or something you know like a jester outfit I like I like the weird and extremes okay I'm not there for anything other like for a lesson in how oppressed I am I'm there to I'm there to blow up, I'm there to do the funsies, you know? I'm there to use the penetrator, which is a dildo bat, which you can't show because they're gonna be mad at it. Mm -hmm. But we can show the dubstep gun. I like the dubstep gun stuff too. I like being able to do ridiculous over the top and, and the less over the top and ridiculous Grand Theft Auto was, you know, when it became more of, you gotta answer Nico Bellic's cell phone a million times and go hang out with people and I had to date some chick. And then I'm driving up the hill, I got Heaven and Hell playing, which is great, don't get me wrong, love, love me some Dio vocals on a Sabbath, you know, that, that's, that's a good Sabbath track with Dio on it, anyway. I see. Whoa. That game became an errand simulator. I don't want to hang out and play pool and darts. And the more reality, the more, in a real life scenario is is where they lost me like san andreas so i don't know if rockstar can give me a game i want now if because they haven't been able to for a while san andreas my biggest complaint when that one came out was gee so it's basically south central la simulator mm -hmm. am i right what was it was that yeah, one? yeah yeah south it was south central la and it was san francisco and it was Gangvilles, uh, Gangvilles, and, and Area Fifty One, and oh, Area Fifty One. They yeah, San Andreas, yeah, had Area Fifty One. Okay. And they had uh, they had Vegas, 
Yeah, and I keep saying that's that's where just do a whole Vegas game. Just do a whole Vegas game. They should be Saints Row though, because that would be more fun. (laughs) I hate saying it, but when when they became more grounded in reality, that was where you lost me. And it was really bad in four because I came back for four. I didn't play five. Did you play campaign in five? Yes. What did you think of campaign in five? I liked it. Okay, now that's the one where you go between the three characters and like I have it. I just never played it. Yes. Um. So how was the story compared to? Previous game. It's 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 a typical crime kind of drama, crime crime family. You know, there's there's three characters. They all play off against each other. They all complement each other very well. Two of them have a previous connection, and it's it's uh, and you know, there's a couple twists here and there, but it's 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 actually a pretty well thought out uh, story. And you got to make a couple decisions which uh, impact the ending. But at the end of the day, isn't it more about online GTA? That's that's the really where they kept, the online has kept people on the GTA treadmill for the last what six, seven years, twenty-seven years. Like this, this has been so long since they've had a new game. At this point, are like people are still playing just GTA Five online? Yeah. So. Well, they, they keep adding stuff to it. So I mean, exactly, exactly. We're kind of stuck, and we're playing the same games a, over and over. I'm still it, playing Terraria and Fall Guys and. GTA GTA Online is a completely different game than when it launched. Now, mm-hmm. so I mean, so take that as you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're getting a new game in 2024. The Rockstar are going to try and clean up their image. Notoriously okay, horrid working conditions. Blah 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 blah. Whoa. What I'm lukewarm to hearing about is the fact that the game will feature its first female protagonist in a GTA game, arguably Rockstar's first in general. The protagonist will be Latina. Oh, you're canceled. You're supposed to say Latina to Latina X now. She's a Latina X now. Latinx. She's a Latinxa. And the Bonnie and the Bonnie in a Bonnie and Clyde type of dynamic. Oh, so she's just the chick. She's the side hoe. She's the crime chick. Yeah, well, of course it would be, you know. Why Why are they not keeping with the fine tradition, and I won't say it, that's just bad. Yes, it seems like something we'd be excited about, but it. But just because someone says they're going to do a cool thing doesn't mean we'll trust that they'll be cool about it. Let's get this out of the way. I'm not a hater. I love Red, the Red Dead series. I really enjoyed Bully, L.A. Noir. It was interesting, etc., etc. I think Rockstar makes good games. I know, hot take. But I've never been able to sit through a GTA game for one simple reason. The women feel like they're written by a team of people who, who for one reason or another, absolutely hate women. No. No. No, no, no. Because I've played through quite a few of them. It's written by a team that is living out a male power fantasy. I don't think that they hate women. I think that they hate certain types of women. Because, like I said, if you are acting like all women are the same. This is this comes back to Anita thinking she can talk for every woman. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. Oh, well, women don't want to see women with big boobs. You're big, you're nice looking. Really? Because they can see, tell you plenty of women who cosplay as Princess Leia in that gold bikini. <laughs> So you mean to tell me that you speak for everyone and that every woman's the same and that... No, no. Sometimes sometimes women are kind of like they portray them in these games. All right? And... Uh, for crying out wow. loud. There's a lot of reasons to not like the GTA games. And whether it's cheating in online mode or bugging out, glitching out, or... No, they don't bug out so much anymore. Those were fun in Red Dead. The hate is overstating it, so at the very least, women in these games feel like they're written by people who've only ever read John Green books. Not familiar with John Green, so... Oh, no, who the hell's please. John Green? Do I, I want to Do I wanna search now? If you're going to drop a reference, he looks like a weenie. Who the hell's he? Yeah, American well. author, YouTube content creator, podcast. Don't so this care. is somebody you got a hate boner for. They're easily unjustifiably shrewish, or they're bimbos, but like from a male point of view... I eat without compassion, without fun, just dumb and blonde. Yeah, because they're written by men. It makes it difficult for me to sit through a GTA title because honestly, it feels insulting. Well, I'm insulted by you being triggered by everything. Go play something else then. Go play Go play Saints Row. Mm-hmm. The characters are actually pretty interesting in there. You know? Shawnee. Holy crap, Shawnee in Saints Row. She wasn't even a badly written character, yeah. I don't think. She goes through party girl Shawnee, and then she comes around, and, and she gets this whole arc where she realizes that she's grown quite a bit since she was a party girl. She's kind of a shrewd businesswoman mm-hmm. who who's responsible and takes care of her crew and stuff and isn't just some ditzy 
ditzy party girl anymore. As as simplified as that might be, that's still more of a character arc than we get in modern day Star Trek for women. Mm-hmm. I hate saying it. They're either unjustifiably shrewish or dumb blondes. It makes it difficult for me to sit through. Re, yes, by all means, let the violent men have the deep and complex inner life, but God forbid the women in their lives be anything other than caricatures. We wouldn't want to take away from these big, strong men's complexities, after all, considering most of the gamers who play these are men. Get over it. Get the crap over it. They're playing to the most people who are going to buy these games. Women buy these games seldomly. I like the originals because they were the top-down, shooty, you know, pixely ones. If women are buying these games, they're buying it for someone else. They're buying it for somebody else. <laughs> I'm not saying women don't play them, because I've played the Grand Theft Auto games. I just don't care about the story and connecting and seeing myself represented in a world that's fictional. Sometimes I want to see a, just a woman be a stripper. I just want the hooker to disappear after you beat her to death, okay? Is that too much to ask? Because for crying out loud, I'm tired of these overly complex women, strong women, 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 I'm over it. Oh, for crying out loud. I mean, Christ, in GTA 5's Michael DeSantis spoiled, spoiled stoner son gets more character development than either of the women in his life. I'm guessing it's not about them. It's not about them. It's not no. about them. This reminds me a lot of, remember the Ford versus Ferrari articles? Yeah. Where they're like, well, the women in the thing doesn't have enough. Well, it wasn't about them. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the main character of the story is Michael. Yeah. And it's not about the women. Like, they're just, side, they're just, they might as well be a prop. And that's okay. You don't need every character on screen to have screen time. All right? There are smaller roles. There are smaller parts. As arguably more of an imposition on his father than anyone else in the family. Why does the daughter have to be an irredeemable airhead and only that? Well, she actually does come around at the end. So that she didn't, So this person didn't play it all the way through? No, she didn't. Why does the wife have to be a cheating nag and only that? She does come around at the end. <laughs> So this article's wrong. This is why I have you on, because I didn't play the campaign on this. They fix their marriage, they go to therapy, and they work it out. By all means, have the entire family become incompetent and shallow. Make sure the son is on the same level. Don't give him bonding moments that you don't get with the others. Because a father and son bond more than... They they bond differently. Bond differently. Like mother and daughter, father and son, you know. Even Red Dead 2, which I love quite a bit, left me feeling a little bit disappointed in the cast of women. Oh, then play Red Dead 1. Bonnie was goddamn everywhere. Where the autonomous beings with their own... Where are the autonomous beings with their own backstories and motivations? It was about the other guy. It wasn't about women. It wasn't even about John Marston in this one. It was about Dutch and his gang. My last major concern is the fact that GTA 6's lady killer is going to be Latina. In theory, I should be excited about this. Yay, a woman of color in a leading role in a AAA game. Another one? You mean we've had him in every single game? Yeah. But after all, it's just sad. I don't know. I trust Rockstar to write her without stereotyping mind. I'd like to think that they will make her a well-rounded, believable person with her own interests and motivations. But honestly, at this point, is anything is game. The best case scenario is to give her a Sadie Adler treatment, but better. Sadie was a total badass, ruthless killer, and separated from a gang who lived her own life. Yes, it would have been nice to see her with a narrative that wasn't a totally dead husband's but she grew into that apple. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Last thing I'll say to this, Rockstar has had a lot of time to grow and learn from prior complaints lodged against them. Yeah, and they decided that they're going to listen to the what? Their male their male character fan base? They should. They should listen to their male fan base and not these social justice idiots. They don't buy the stuff. They just complain about it on Twitter. They support it in theory, but not financially. And who are you going to cater to? The 40-year-old white dudes who have jobs and money or the 20 year old baristas who can't even adult really at the end of the day i'm not going to even freaking put down money unless i see something that looks like it's going to be a game i want to play Mm -hmm. and if it's just going to be a representation diversity diversity i'll just play the saints row one because i think that one's going to be the better representation diversity diversity because saints Row hasn't let me down for how many games now so i am mecca and you are I'm Shlomo. I read this article. And you know, I hope they make this this new character a stripper, just a spider. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope they give her her name. What's what was this chick's name? I don't know, Fisty McGee. Fisty. No, she's gonna be she's gonna be Conchita. Conchita Consuela. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to. Th-
<laughs> all right. I don't, I don't. Just make it all men just to piss off the Mary Sue at this point. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Are you threatening me? Nay, my bunghole will ask the questions. <laughs>